In this video, we'll demonstrate how to create a simple DIY battery at home. Begin by obtaining a standard household battery cell. Carefully extract the carbon rod from the battery cell to serve as the cathode, and retrieve the zinc casing or plate to act as the anode. Place both electrodes into a polyester cup, securing them at opposite sides using tape to ensure they remain separated. Pour a small amount of water into the cup. Add a few teaspoons of salt to the water to form an electrolyte solution, which facilitates the flow of ions between the electrodes. Using a digital multimeter, DMM, we can observe a voltage of approximately 1.1 volts generated between the zinc and carbon electrodes. Voltage versus load resistance in zinc carbon battery. This graph shows how the voltage of a zinc carbon battery changes with varying load resistance. Power versus load resistance in zinc carbon battery. This graph shows how the power output of a zinc carbon battery changes with varying load resistance. CO2 emissions by battery type. This graph compares the CO2 emissions per year for zinc carbon and alkaline batteries. Zinc carbon batteries emit 2 kilograms of CO2 per year, while alkaline batteries emit 5 kilograms of CO2 annually. Benefits of zinc carbon batteries in green energy technologies. Applications of zinc carbon batteries. 